Banner today, Cuban President Raul Castro brought up the possibility that he could step down as the country's leader. The unexpected statement came during a joint appearance with Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. Castro is scheduled to be sworn into a new five-year term as president on Sunday. With me now to talk about this curious comment and Cuban politics is Eric Farnsworth. He's the Vice President at the Council of the Americas. Thank you very much for coming in, Eric. Uh, Raul Castro said that we should watch his speech on Sunday very carefully, but he's already drop something of a bombshell in Cuban politics. Well, I think maybe he's looking for the best ratings in history for a Cuban uh, political <laughs> speech, and he's going to get those ratings. The fact of the matter is this is a bit of a bombshell. I don't think anybody's anticipating that it means he's going to imminently leave or leave immediately, but perhaps signaling nonetheless that uh, he is getting older. He has seen what's happened recently, perhaps, to uh, President Hugo Chavez in Venezuela, who's had some real health problems. and. They're signaling that there does need to be a transition at some point in the future, and I think he's laying the groundwork so for that. So could we be looking at a change of regime in Cuba after, what, 50 years of Castro's in, in power? Well, we could be, and that would be real news, but I don't think we should uh, overplay this. In other words, I don't think anybody's suggesting that the Cuban regime as such is going to change. Uh, the, the name at the top might do. That's ab absolutely right, and I think what they're looking to do is reform perhaps along the Chinese model or the Vietnamese model, where the party in power remains the, the monopoly of power. They make some transitions perhaps in the economy, uh, make it a little bit liberalized uh, from that perspective, and maybe the names uh, change at the top. But there is one very important point. Throughout their reign, the Castros have very effectively not allowed anybody to uh, come up to perhaps challenge their rule. And so there's nobody right now that could step into that role. So this uh, period, uh, if it indeed is announced, of transition is going to be very important because they're going to have to groom a successor. So currently, that person doesn't exist. Right. I mean, the only people around Raul Castro of a similar age, right, That's at the moment, correct. octogenarians. And if you're looking to the next generation of Cubans, who would that be? Well, it's a really good uh, question. The foreign and minister... would they be different? Uh, well, from an ideological perspective, probably not. And in fact, this transition period, I think, again, to the extent it occurs, we're speculating here, but part of that would be to ensure ideological purity so that the revolution, as the Cubans know it, will go forward in, uh, in not just name, but also function. I think it's a very important point, and it's why uh, Raul uh, Castro has suggested that they need to begin to lay the groundwork for that transition. They don't want the revolution to end when their lives do. They want it to extend beyond their lives. But he did come in promising some sort of economic reforms yes. in the country. To what extent has he delivered on that? And would a change, if it was not the name Castro at the top in Cuba, could that signal a period of better relations with America? There have been changes uh, economically. There have been changes also, for example, for travel policies. Uh, from my perspective, they haven't been significant. They've been changes at the margins. Uh, but they have been changes. And the question is, if you replace uh, Castro with a younger generation, um, they could, those changes, you could argue, might speed up. Um, the U.S. Uh, relationship with Cuba is codified in U.S. law. So the fact is there would have to be some real changes on the island toward democracy uh, and some other things for U.S. law to change. Uh, and that limits the extent uh, that the U.S. could move in terms of changing the relationship, but it's certainly something to watch in the months ahead. Okay, well, that's going to be an interesting speech on Sunday, and I'm sure you'll be watching. Eric Absolutely. Thanks very much for coming in.